Hey everybody, I'm Neil Mundy, AKA The Mundus, and welcome to my channel, Yesterland Toys. And we're gonna be opening up. How'd that get in there? <laughs> Action Force. And I know some of you know about it. Some of you already have it. I don't have all of the first series stuff. I got 2A and 2B order. I'm waiting for it to come, but let's check this out. All right, well, here we go. We got our box here that um, the action figure and the accessories came in. So let's go ahead and dig right into this. And then we come to the good stuff, man. <laughs> the good stuff. Yeah, what we've been waiting for. And like I said, I only got one action figure to start, uh, but I got the other ones coming. And this is the Riot Warfare, the Public Guard includes one figure it's got some bitchin art on here love it the drawing and stuff like that so looking really really good here and then i ordered this accessories little pack here of the blast uh like gunshot blasts whatnot the flashes and all they send them they're already in the pre-packaged little bag but i guess at the factory they throw them in this um no ziplock so We'll get into that. And then I got this little accessories backpacks gear set. So it comes with some gear bags, same thing, nice graphics. You know, can't go wrong with it. Looking pretty cool. Like I said, looking ready to dig into this. So let's go uh, let's get into it. So I basically laid everything out here again. We got the little flashes and all that to go on the accessories section of uh, the firearm but at the tip of the firearm I'm, sure, I'm assuming that's how it'll go into it I don't know if this character comes with any guns or whatnot but we'll give it a shot and we'll see what happens but let's check this out let's see what we got here nice little cut Oops. and when we open the box we have our riot guard. Comes in a little plastic baggie and some of these accessories. Nothing else in the box. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yes. And these are based on six inch scales like uh, your G.I. Joe's. So wrong but yeah I can see what they mean right out of the box he's a little stiff in the joints I really don't want to put too much pressure on it it almost kind of looks like his legs a little bit his left legs a little bit longer than the right leg so I'm hoping he stands here kind of on his own let's see nope so it's gonna take some adjusting here. We're gonna to have to see what we're gonna to have to do to make him stand. I don't know if it's in the joint or what's going on here. But um, yeah, he's in he's in pretty stiff shape. So I'm gonna to have to mess with him a little bit. Don't want to break anything, but um, I'll kind of break away from this video, and then hopefully we can come back to him and I'll have him in a better position. So. But you also get in the box, you get uh, an extra set of uh, hands, two sets of hands, it looks like, or three sets of hands. Yeah, one, two, 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 four, six. Yeah, so you get a total of uh, three extra sets of head, hands, and you get a nice little um, extra face here. So you can open those up. face here pretty cool I can tell you right now face sculpt looks good this appears to be like uh, your african-american face head if you uh, want to change your character out so that's pretty cool and then you have all these open uh, different and closed different hands here obviously for holding a firearm or some kind of accessory you know down the line uh, that's going to be your right hand. And we got our left hand here. It looks like your uh, trigger finger 
pan. So put your uh, firearm in there. Um, and this is going to be a right hand for holding uh, any accessory, firearm, you know, whatever it may be. Closed hand again. Um, maybe smaller weapons, things like that. Some kind of accessory. Um, I guess you could even use that as kind of like a, a punch, punch method. You know, a ca uh, character in action mode. You know, closed fist. Same thing again. Uh, right hand holding firearm, maybe a bigger firearm like a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher or a bigger um, rifle, a 50 cal or something like that, or a, like a scar or a bigger, just a bigger firearm altogether. So, and then a left holding hand and obviously you can pose these. It looks like uh, left-handed, right-handed mode. So can't go wrong there. And then you get this awesome uh, little stand. And this is one thing that really sold me right with um, Valiverse and Action Force is each character comes with a stand. And, you know, a lot of lines don't do that. You know, they cut corners where they can. And sometimes cutting quarters is pretty, because it cuts down on cost and it cuts down on, um, you know, production material and all that. But Bobby obviously uh, steps it up. He supplies it with his figure. So I'm really sold on that. He's got his nice name in there, stamp. So uh, 2021 Dollar Verse LLC, made in China. We know everything comes from China now, but you know what? For the money on this stuff, you can't go wrong. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, let me double check. I want to say he, he ran roughly $21.99 for the price. And where this action figure sits, you can't go wrong, guys. You know what I mean? So like I said, I'm going to I'm gonna play with him a little bit. Pause and break away here. And um, see if I can get this guy working better. But um, overall, man, I'm, I'm really impressed. Like I said, I've been waiting to get my hands on these. This just takes toys in the 6-inch scale to another level. From all the articulation that uh, Dollarverse has put into the design here. You know, but I don't want to get too much into the articulation. We'll come back and we'll express on that. But with that, you know, I don't want to snap him. So we'll come back to him, like I said. But let's open up the gear pack. Same thing. It comes with tape. Tape flapped uh, cardboard entry. And looks like they come in individual packs. Three individual little packs here. Looks like we got a standard coyote tan uh, color that we uh, get to accessorize with. Single peg, not star peg, so they're going to fit inside the back of the action figure. Not like your classic, uh, like G.I. Joe's and stuff from the 80s more of a straight peg not that star looking peg and we all know they broke off <laughs> we left them out in the sun or, you know uh, popping it in and out too much it snap over time but um, yeah we got a coyote tan bag here rough uh, yeah and then you have a, a standard smaller uh, backpack pretty cool Got the different colors on there and then we got a shoulder bag and that's kind of cool you <laughs> you know you really don't see accessories like this I, or i haven't i guess if i have maybe you know maybe um maybe you can help me out say there are other toy lines that are doing this but this was kind of interesting this was like the first i saw in a, in a toy line offering this i thought it was pretty cool she throw it over his shoulder I mean, you can accessorize it however you like. I don't know. Probably have to switch it and go to the other shoulder, but I don't want to break it but, and pop it off. They're pretty flexible. So then we move into the other colors here. 
looks like we got a traditional OD green here, military green. So, pretty cool. A lot of detail. A lot of good detail. You see the wrinkles in here. You know, you can tell that, you know, you can only imagine, like, what kind of gear he's got packed in there from food to, you know, medical supplies, extra ammunition, stuff like that. So, it kind of leaves uh, the imagination there. You know what I mean? So, really cool. Really digging that. And again, you get the OD green over the shoulder bag. And it looks like you get the uh, OD green, just smaller backpack. So, really cool. And then, obviously, in the third bag, it's probably going to be a gray color. might be black. But, again, all about accessorizing, right? Customization. You can do whatever you want. So, pretty cool. Let's see, what is this? This is, looks like it's a black with uh, some gray accents on the mauve we um, webbing. Yeah, pretty cool. Same details on them, so you can't go wrong there. Looking real good, straight peg. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. You can't, uh, I noticed one thing, First and foremost, off these uh, the accessory packs here, there's really nowhere for like customization, like uh, attaching, like say a knife or extra magazines or a pistol or something like that, or hanging a rifle off of it anywhere. Uh, these are just going to be sh you know, sh straight for presentation on the character, but I'm sure you can accessorize and taking from uh, different pieces with different figures as the, as you get them. And if you wanted to, maybe modify them and, you know, you can glue a knife pouch on, make it look like it's tight on the bag, interlaced and all that, or a pistol, or, you know, maybe even do some customization with some small sticker decal to make it look like patchwork, you know, the, whoever, you know, you know, whoever the character is or, you know, who it's assigned to. So, I mean, there's, the, the options are unlimited, right? So that's what I really like about this. And I'm not really one as a collector for um, like really getting into customization, but I mean, you can build anything out of these guys, it appears. And like I said, I wish he came with weapons, but he didn't, and that's okay. I mean, that's cool. I got my other guys coming, you know, they'll be here soon. So we'll obviously do a review on it. Uh, one thing I did notice now, if you take a look, his right leg uh, is pretty loose. All right, guys, well, welcome back. So I did what the directions said, right? Follow the instructions. I can't uh, stress stress it anymore. Follow the directions that worked. I went with the hairdryer method. Um, I didn't want to submerge it in water, warm water. Um, so I don't have to deal with the drying time and all that way to get quickly back to the video, but <clears throat> excuse me um, yeah uh, it worked so yeah this thing's uh, this thing's pretty badass man so uh, I'll get into the articulation side of it now and you know customizing uh, his hands and stuff like that um, so here we go we got the, fi uh, the figure now I will say he was a little stiff and a little hard trying to get on the um, on the, uh, the action force stand there but um, Again, it was, uh, wasn't too hard. Just kind of had to play with it, manipulate it a little bit. I guess maybe the, the peg hole here, maybe it was a little stiff. I didn't think about maybe hitting those and loosening those holes up and then maybe trying to uh, put, the, put the stand in, you know what I mean, like going in and out of it. But uh, it, can, it can be a little tight, so. That's what she said. <laughs> but, um, Nothing that y'all can't figure out, but getting into it, here we go. We've got the Caucasian head face mask. And, uh, you know, when I was sitting there warming him up, I kind of thought for a second, I'm like, you know, what is he reminding me of, right? And I know people are probably saying it too, and, and, and I'm sure probably Bobby's getting upset with probably hearing it because, you know, he's, he's not with the uh, former company anymore, uh, Hasbro, where he, he worked on... Uh, several lines and um, with the G.I. Joe six inch line and you know trying to um, you know 
I, I, I'm not going to get into that, but if you want to hear that, uh, just go out there and research it, and you can uh, find out uh, Bobby's backstory on it, but we all know that Bobby came from Hasbro, so anyways, um, and we know what he's doing here with this line, and how it's uh, compatible with uh, the Hasbro G.I. Joe 6 inch line, so... Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool, right? So you can pop these heads off. You can pop on the African American head. If you like. Try to do it without breaking it. Pretty, uh, pretty tight. That's what she said. <laughs> but, um, Three hours later. You just. Be careful with it. Don't put too much strain on that peg. You know, it's pretty thin. Let's see if I can try it one more time. Ah. And no. Did I break it? Yeah, I broke it. That's not cool. Not digging that. Wow, I broke that hand, and I hit this pretty good with the heat, man. I stayed on it for a good minute, so yeah, I broke that hand off in there. I might be able to fix that, but um, <laughs> yeah, trying to pull that hand out and. There's a hinge, like a ball hinge here, and basically pulled that out. Okay, let's just try to get the camera to focus here. You can see it. So I'm gonna have to get a pair of pliers and try and uh, get this sucker out. So, all right, so. Had to hit it with some more heat, and once I did that, it pops right out. So, I probably blew that hand in a sense. That hand's done because uh, you don't want to you don't take a chance of breaking your stuff. You know, we, we work hard for our money, so at least I know I do. There you go. I got the hand in there. So, so yeah, overall, figure's pretty badass, man. You can't go wrong. All right, guys, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to turn on the notifications button if you want more video content. And remember to like my videos. Until next time, see you later.